Hey, Thomas from Field Tennis. Here's a quick uh, five-minute video on how to position yourself for the serve. I get this question a lot and I thought I'll just answer it with uh, simple lines. So, players ask me how should I position for the serve if I serve to the ad side or what's the difference if I serve to the juice side. So I've put these tapes the way I position myself very naturally. So if I'm serving to the ad side, then my feet would be on this line. So this foot is obviously differently in a different orientation than the front one, but if, if I try and kind of align my feet for the serve, let's say I'm serving to the ad side, then this would be the direction of my feet. And I've put my basket of balls there by the net post or by the stick, the single stick, because if, if I look at these lines, they point there, so they don't really point to the net post, but maybe just a bit inside to the single stick that usually supports the net there. And so as you can see, this line points there, and also this line points there, so if I serve from the deuce side, I would still orient something like this, I would orient like this, and serve to the juice side. So, in both cases, these lines point kind of to the singles net post, that's where they converge, or to the, that single stick where the basket is. So that, for me personally, that is the most natural position of the feet, even if I go to the deuce side. So I would not position like this if, if I serve to the deuce side, because I don't have enough coiling. I, I, I feel I need to create more coiling. I need to turn away more from the court and then into the court. So this is roughly a guideline that gives you some idea how do you position yourself, in, in, in what direction should be your feet. And then the second thing is where. So let's say by default about half a meter from the center line or about two feet, so about two feet from the center line. So by default you would start here. And if you're looking for more angle then of course you can go a bit more wide here. So you're trying to, you're trying to find a bit more angle to the outside but of course, be aware that you're leaving a bit more space there. So it depends how good is your serve and how good is your opponent in returning down the line. Then you can take this chance. And the same applies to this side. So if you have a good slice serve, you can go a bit more this way and, and try to pull your opponent out of the court and see if they can handle it. So again, this is maybe by default positioning, alignment, about two feet from the center, and serve from there and then experiment a little bit and see how that works with your game. Of course this is just for singles, right? For doubles you have to be much more wide because your partner covers the court there at the net. So you, for doubles you can serve from here. Cover your half of the court. So here's just a 10 second mini tip for doubles. That's very important um, when you're serving and if you're serving and volleying. I see players many times that if they serve here, because they're so used to covering the court, they serve here correctly, then they run towards the middle. But most of your middle is covered by your partner at the net. So just keep in mind that in doubles, when you serve and volley, you need to run straight. So if I serve from here, I run straight, perpendicular to the net. And same goes for here. If I serve from here, let's say I serve from here, there's my partner, I serve, I run straight. Do not run into the shadow of your partner because your partner covers the court. So there's mini tip for doubles. And another question we need to answer is whether you should position any differently if you serve down the tee or out wide, then the answer is no. You, everything is done there with your hand, with your body rotation or something like that. So uh, you don't position any differently. So let's say I want to serve now. I just kind of naturally position. I want to serve uh, to the juice side down the tee. 
I would go like this. And if I want to serve now out wide, I would position the same. And then I would just toss the ball more in front, I would hit it more on the side and so on. But my position is exactly the same. So same here, if I go wide, if I go out wide, I would stand like this. And if I go down the tee, I stand exactly the same and I just, I don't, I just rotate my body a little bit more towards the contact point, I direct the ball. So no difference in how you position, whether you serve out wide or down the tee. Unless you really want to pull your opponent out wide and you take a little chance and see if they can hit that open space. So I've done that many times and most of the times opponents are not very good in hitting down the line on their, on their return. So you can annoy them a little bit with those serves because they see empty space and they can't hit it. So that's the tip for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.